Welcome to the latest edition of On the Infield. Tonight we're at the Murray Bridge Speedway for the running of the 2005 ASCF Australian Junior Sedan Championship. Tonight we have over 50 of Australia's best young up and coming speedway stars set to do battle for the right to be the 2005 Australian Junior Sedan Champion. Each competitor will contest five heats throughout the weekend along with a 25 lap final to decide who will become Australia's number one driver for 2005. So please sit back and enjoy On the Infield's presentation of the ASCF Australian Junior Sedan Championship being held at the Murray Bridge Speedway. Standing here with current and two-time national champion Todd Waddell. Todd, welcome to Murray Bridge. Thanks for having me. Now last night uh, you remained undefeated throughout three heats. You obviously took a liking to the track. Uh, yeah, the track's great. Um, it really suits my car. We race on the same sort of surface back home. So yeah, I've uh, really taken a liking to the track. Now last night, as I mentioned, you were undefeated. Stephen Conti, you're also undefeated. Emily Bomback also in position number three at the moment with the first and the third. What's it about the Western Australians that uh, produces such good racing? I don't know what it's about, Western Australians, but um, yeah, all three of us are going well. Stephen's won all three of his and I've won all three of mine and Emily's won two. So top three West Australians for the starting grid of the final should be good. Now, at the moment you're on the top, uh, what are your expectations for the evening? You get to drop a heat, but uh, at the moment you're dropping a 36 point heat. Ah, uh, yeah, if I win the next two heats, the worst I can do is drop a first. So, yeah, I expect to hopefully, I'm starting on the front row for the next race, so I should have a good showing in that one, and then we'll see how we go in the last one. You know, as you mentioned, Western Australia's had a pretty good history in juniors. Of course, you've won two. Guys, uh, guys like uh, Robert Adley and also, of course, female Veronica McCann have come out of juniors. Obviously, you'd like to follow in their footsteps? Uh, yeah, they're two uh, idols that I do look up to. They've both made it from juniors to the big step to sprint cars, and they're both doing quite well. You know, um, Veronica McCann got third in the state title just last week, and Rob, when he races his car, uh, you just can tell that he's a good driver. So you're looking for sprint cars yourself? I think you mentioned possibly late models? Uh, yeah, we don't have the budget for sprint car at the moment, so we're going to race late models first and hopefully hook a big sponsor and then make the move to sprint cars. Now we don't see junior sedans run, features run over 25 laps all that often. Uh, do you run those sort of events in, in Western Australia? Uh, not really. It's only the state title and the Australian title that they bring the, the big events out. But yeah, I should be alright. I'm quite fit, so should make the journey pretty easy. So other than the top, uh, well, the other two drivers are up there in the points with you. Is there any other driver that you're really looking out to to uh, possibly could challenge you for your number one title tonight? Uh, Jason McIver from Northern Territory. Uh, he got second last year and he's been pretty quick up till now and his car come on later on last night. So towards the feature he should be fast. Oh, well, thanks for joining us tonight, Todd, and uh, all the best for the remaining two heats and the feature tonight. Thanks a lot. So after 25 tough heats, these are the drivers that just missed out on tonight's Australian Championship, eh, mate? The consolation final about to come your way. Leading, on, leading them in, in car number 19 on the front row. Marcus Redicliffe out of Victoria. And is outside the South Aussie, Cheyenne Redette in the 26. So we're about to go racing here. These drivers desperately wanted to make the final, but they just missed out. We're racing here in the consolation final, being brought to you by John Yellingworth and also Wardley Wreckers as they go into turns one and two. It's Marcus Redicliffe who will lead them down the back straight. A bit of contact further back between Kirk Lowe and the Western Australian and the 26 of Cheyenne Redette. Making the big move on the outside is the 23 of Jack McCarthy. The South Aussie in his first season of racing. Oh, we've got a car spun down there on the start. Finish line, in fact, down towards turn number one. In fact, Marcus Redicliffe, the pole sitter. So he's now out of it down there in turn number one. This now elevates the Victorian Bradley Warren in car 84 into position number one as the yellow lights come out. A complete restart here in the junior sedans. Consolation final. Bradley Warren now leading them in a car 84. Cheyenne Redette gets a second chance in the 26. Then we have the 23 of Jack McCarthy, the 28 of Kirk Lowe. Then it's Jacoby, the Queensland driver, out of position number five as we're racing into turns one and two. Door handle to door handle, let it turn to a bit of contact in the front row between Bradley Warren and Cheyenne Redette as they headed down the back straight away. But Bradley Warren will get the move. Oh, Cheyenne Redette has spun right across in front of the field. A couple of cars, including Chanel Jacoby and also Tom Pritchard, very lucky not to make contact with the 26. But the race is continuing with Bradley Warren in car 84 leading them quite handsomely. Then it's Kirk Lowe. In car number 28, the West Aussie. Then battling it out for third and fourth spot is Charlie Brown in car number 11. The, 
the Queenslander and also the local South Aussie in Brent Fox in the 91. In fact, Charlie Brown now runs in position number three. The young Queensland driver, son of former Australian modified sedan champion, Gary Brown, in fact, he defended that title here at the Murray Bridge Speedway a couple of seasons ago, but unfortunately lost the title to fellow Queenslander, Peter Lack. But out in front of the moment is Bradley Warren in car number 84, doing it quite easily at the moment over Kirk Lowe. Then we've got Charlie Brown battling it out for position number three, still with Brent Fox, a local Murray Bridge competitor. Have a look at almost three wide, further back in the pack there. Looks like Chanel Jacoby and also Jack McCarthy involved in that particular battle. And it's starting to heat up now for second, third and fourth on the racetrack between Kirk Lowe, Charlie Brown and Brent Fox off. Brent Fox almost to the back of Charlie Brown as they came out of turn number four. As once again they head down the front straightaway. Have a look at this huge field of juniors and ends in the consolation final. But Bradley Warren is showing them the way around here in car 84. No transfers into the A main. So this is the final drive of the evening. In fact, of the weekend for all of these competitors here tonight. As they continue to run two, three, sometimes four abreast here at the Murray Bridge Speedway during the consolation final. This one over 12 laps. Great battle further back there between the Broken Hill resident, Brendan Garrett. I think it was one of the Victorian lady races involved in that battle as well. Out in front of the still Bradley Warren in car number 84. As the drives continue to circulate around this racetrack. So on the restart, in fact, there was a caution. I think it was Matthew Prunster coming to a halt down there on the front straightaway. So once again, leading them away is the 84 of Bradley Warren now tucked right in behind him, the 28 of Kirk Lowe. So we've got a Victorian leading a Western Australian, leading a South Australian and a Queenslander. A great event here, the ASCF Australian Junior Sedan Championship. One of three national titles to be run at the Murray Bridge Speedway this season. It's still Bradley Warren, Kirk Lowe, Brent Fox now over the third spot in car 91. The only Holden Tirana in the field here this weekend in a field that comprised of over 50 competitors. Charlie Brown now looking to the inside of Brent Fox as they come out of turn number two. In fact, Charlie Brown may have the run here in turn four. And in fact, Charlie Brown will make the move. A very nice move there from Charlie Brown. And he takes over the third spot. It's been a pretty entertaining run so far. Out in front, it is still Bradley Warren in the 84. Kurt Lowe sitting very menace menacingly back there in the second spot. Then it's Charlie Brown, the big mover here. In car number 11, 11 on the door, four on the roof number. Oh, as we speak of Charlie Brown, he gets very sideways in turn number four. As the checkered flag comes out, Kirk Lowe got past Bradley Warren on the last corner. Charlie Brown in for third. I'm standing here with the leading female driver after night one, Emily Bombach. Welcome to Murray Bridge. Thank you. Now last night you uh, had two heat wins in a third place and you're currently sitting in third spot in the points. Was that a good night for you? Yeah, it was very good. The track was set up really nice and Dad set up the car real good and everything was great and yeah, did pretty good. Now Western Australia you drive, drive places like Quinana and uh, probably Bibra Lake and sort of those sort of places and Bunbury. Uh, does, how does this track compare with anything you've driven on before? Um, no, this is a totally different track compared to home. It's the same size to River Lake, but different surface. It's a really good track here. Love it. Nice and rough. Now, we are just talking to Todd Waddell a while ago, just uh, asking, what is it about Western Australia that produces such good junior sedan drivers? Uh, wouldn't know about that. Um, skill. Good drivers, I guess. Because uh, obviously you must have a pretty a good bunch of drivers over there. You've got a lot of competitors over there? Yeah, we've got heaps of drivers over there. Always racing, pretty much. You can race every Saturday night if you wanted to. Now going into the final event tonight, or the final two heats for tonight, what are your expectations? Currently sitting in third in the points, looking for, I guess, two more heat wins? Oh, yeah, definitely. Two more heat wins. And then hopefully a nice, good feature race. No crashes. 
And other than obviously Todd and Stephen Conti who are currently in front of you in the points, is there anyone else that you're really keeping an eye out for tonight? Um, <laughs> nah, just um, nah, my main concern would be Todd Waddell and Stephen's gone very good tonight and probably number 25 South Australian guy. He's pretty fast, I've seen him race, he's good. Oh, well, thanks for your time. I know you're getting a bit of a hard time from a few of your fans out there, oh, but yeah. uh, thanks for joining, Sid. So the 25-lap Australian Junior Sydney Championship proudly being brought to you by John Dillingworth and also Waterloo Wreckers about to come your way. Todd Waddell, the defending and two-time national champion on the front row. Stephen Conti, fellow West Aussie, on the outside of the front row. Jason McIver, current Australia 2 on the second row, along with Emily Bomback as we go green here in the final of the Australian Junior Sedan Championship. And we're racing down the back straight away. Todd Waddell has already shot straight into the lead. Battling it out for second, there is Jason McIver along with Stephen Conti. And have a look at this huge field as they make their way through turns three and four. A capacity field of junior sedans here this weekend. This is going to be an entertaining 25 lap final. But as Todd Waddell out in front, he won all five of his heats here this weekend. And he's in great form as he comes out of turn number four, continuing to lead. As the yellow lights are out, so there will be a complete restart. So the yellows adding a little bit more drama to this event, the restart. Todd Waddell, Stephen Conti, Jason McIver, Emily Bomback. Then we've got the first of the South Australians in Chris Hayden in car 25 out of Mount Gambier. Jeremy Bettison out of Horsham in Victoria, rounding out the first three rows. Oh, Stephen Conti has made an absolute shocker from the front row and drops back to around about fifth or sixth on the speedway. He had a terrible start, but Todd Waddell leads away once again as the drivers flash past the camera position here. Emily Bomback, rider on the top side of the racetrack in the orange and white machine in third spot. But as Todd Waddell with the Daihatsu Charade, who will lead them down the back chute once again. Oh, contact further back in the pack. A couple of cars coming together, including the Western, Western Australian state champion, Curran Short. So a complete restart once again. Todd Waddell will have to do it once again. Stephen Conti is a very lucky young man. He'll get a restart here on the outside of the front row. So we're racing once again. Can these young drivers complete a lap here in the books? They'd be very eager to get this event run. A few nerves under the helmet, you would suspect, as they head down the back straightaway once again. Look at that, four wide down the back chute. Spectacular stuff there as they go through turn number three and four. There's still three wide coming out of turn four around this 360 meter Murray Bridge venue. It's down the back straight. In fact, Stephen Conti is very close to the back of Todd Waddell as they head down the back straight. A nice close in shot there of Emily Bomback battling it out with Chris Hayden. In fact, a bit of contact as they exit turn number four there between Bomback and Hayden. In fact, the South Aussie now runs fourth on the racetrack. But it's two Western Australians and Northern Territory and leading the pack here. Todd Waddell, Stephen Conti, Jason McIver, Chris Hayden, Emily Bomback. It's the top five on the speedway at the moment. Then sitting back there in car number 42 is David Harwood, another one of the Western Australian standouts. As our leaders once again make their way through turns number three and four. Have a look at some of the action further back there. Spectacular racing. Look, wherever you look here in the Australian Junior Sydney Championship, but it's still Todd Waddell out in front in car number one. Stephen Conti continuing to battle it out for second spot with Jason McIver. Further back in the pack, Tristan Weston in the red and white Western Estates machine battling it out with a newly crowned South Australian champion in car number 17 out of Victoria. That, of course, being Andrew Hibbert in the purple and yellow machine. Very distinctive. In fact, there he is once again battling it out with Jeremy Bettison now. Spectacular racing. This really is a, a great race here in the junior sedans. Have a look at that pack further back. They'd be having a great time behind the wheel of these race cars as they go through turn three and four one more time. We mentioned this is a 25 lap final. Todd Waddell has a clear leader, but second spot is now up for dispute as Jason McIver heads to the inside of Stephen Conti. Conti a little sideways out of turn number two. And Jason McIver out of Darwin in the Northern Territory in the second spot. Now Conti back to third. In fact, Conti almost tagged the wall. 
as he came out of turn number four. Further back, Andrew Hibbert. Tristan Weston, Ross Barnabini's out of Western Australia, battling it out for, for around about seven, eight to ninth on the racetrack. But it's still Todd Waddell, he paces this field as he has right from the green. Of course, a former two-time national champion. Drives for the Ellen Brook Club in Western Australia. Heard during the interview earlier in the show, his ambitions are to one day run sprint cars, but the next step will probably be the late model division there in Western Australia. Car number two there, Mark Montague doing a bit of leaning on another competitor as he exited turn number four. Here's the battle now for third and fourth between Stephen Conti on the outside and Chris Hayden, the South Aussie, on the inside in car number 25 out of Mount Gambier. The leading South Aussie in the event at this stage. The battle's still raging for third between Conti and Hayden. This could end in tears as both drivers are leaning on each other out of turn number four. And in fact, the six of Conti is into the wall hard down there in turn four. Also, Chris Hayden made contact with the wall, but Stephen Conti has came off second best in that incident. In turn number four, a couple of other cars coming to a halt down there. Look like Dane Kingshot out of Western Australia in car number 35. But Stephen Conti is a non-starter here in this one. And I think you'll find Chris Hayden has been sent to the rear of the grid for being the cause of the accident. So on the restart, it will be Todd Waddell to lead them in. Jason McIver still in the second spot. Then it's David Harwood in car 42 in third. Current Sean in car 55. The current West Aussie champion who was involved in the altercation earlier in the event is now running in the fourth spot. Where's he come from? Emily Bomback is running in the fifth. Here's Andrew Hibbert, the newly crowned South Aussie champion. As we've lost another car down there in turn number four. Hopefully he can get running before our leaders come back around. Have a look at Jason McIver running right around the top side of the racetrack. Andrew Hibbert very sideways, exiting turn number four. Oh, Ross Varnavides, I think it is. Almost making contact with Andrew Hibbert as they come out of turn number four. But it's still Todd Waddell, this guy, this young driver, really is a class act in car number one. As we have a look at our first glimpse there of Jason Gantz out of Barmer here in South Australia, one of our leading competitors in car number 13. He'll be running around about seventh or eighth at this stage of the event. Current short with his bodywork damage, as you can see, has lost the entire right side of his bodywork on the number 55 after the earlier altercation. You see Chris Hayden trying to force his way back through the pack after being sent to the rear with the contact with Stephen Conti. So at the moment we have a West Aussie leading a Northern Territory and that's Western Australia, Western Australia and Western Australia. We spoke to a couple of these Western Australians earlier in the program and say, what is it about Western Australia? Well, they must, there must be something in the water over there because these young drivers we really know how to stand on the gas. As they come out of turn number four, they really have shown the rest of Australia that, hey, Western Australia is the place to be if you want to run a junior sedan. Battle continues out of turn number four. Look at that, three wide. Spectacular stuff there from the junior sedan.